After six weeks, closing arguments have begun in the Alec Murdoch double murder trial case. Soon now will be handed over to the jury to decide Alex Murdoch's fate. Well, Queen City News anchor Morgan Francis has been covering this trial from the start, and she has details tonight on a field trip the jury took today and what was said in court. The 12 jurors and two alternates rode in a van with blacked out windows to the site of the homicides on Moselle Road. This came at the request of the defense. And after an exhaustive investigation, there is only one person who had the motive, who had the means, who had the opportunity to commit these crimes, and also whose guilty conduct after these crimes betrays him. The prosecution called Alec Murdoch a family annihilator in closing arguments Wednesday, saying Murdoch's building financial pressure pushed him to murder his wife and son in June of 2021. The defendant is the person on which a storm was descending, and the defendant is a person where his own storm would actually mean consequences for Maggie and Paul and consequences for those who trusted him. And that person is the defendant, Richard Alexander Murdoch. Jurors made the trip to Moselle to see where the crimes took place. At least one juror inspected the door frame of a storage closet where Paul Murdoch was standing when he was killed. She was running to her baby, heard that shot and was running to her baby when she got mowed down by the only person that we have conclusive proof was at that scene just minutes before. In closing arguments, lead prosecutor Creighton Waters reiterated Murdoch lied about key details in the case, including the fact that he was at the dog kennels where the murders happened just minutes before Maggie and Paul were shot dead. The most important thing he could have told law enforcement, when was the last time I saw my wife and child alive? Why in the world would an innocent, reasonable father and husband lie about that? The defense team will deliver their closing arguments to the jury Thursday morning. Murdoch faces 30 years to life if convicted of the murders. I'm headed to Walterboro and will be live on the ground when the verdict comes in. Morgan, thank you for that. As closing arguments wrap up and jury deliberations begin, you can be able to follow this case with us here on Queen City News on our website at QCNews.com and also on the Queen City News app.